hi guys welcome back again to my kitchen and to my channel this is a highly requested recipe this one is how to make a Jamaican bulla in your kitchen may I go show you how to make this a bulla recipe easy fast and simple so if you want to see how I make a Jamaican bulla in my kitchen come on and ride my hey, hey. Me, you know? here comes our boy Jamaican Okay guys, let's talk about the flour that we're going to be using to make this recipe. Right here I have two cups of all-purpose flour and two cups of 100% whole wheat flour. Now right there I have my vegetable shortening and that is four tablespoons of vegetable shortening. Now what else we're going to be putting into this recipe? Right here I have one tablespoon of cinnamon powder. One teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm also going to be adding two teaspoons of baking powder. Right there I have a half a cup of grated ginger. A cup and a half of water. I'm also going to be adding some molasses to that. It's going to give it flavor and it's going to give it that brown color that we're looking for. I'm going to be adding vanilla to that and I'm going to put two tablespoons of vanilla and a cup and a half of brown sugar if you have the organic brown sugar you could use it as well but do not use granulated sugar into this recipe all right so come on and let's get started okay let's get stopper i have two cups of oily flour two cups of all-purpose and five tablespoons of vegetable shortening okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and just mix that together and crumble that vegetable shortening in with the flour okay now I'm gonna add my cinnamon powder my salt and my nutmeg in also gonna add my baking powder in and I'm gonna add my sugar in also I'm gonna add my ginger and just mix that together Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this aside and I'm going to move on to my next step. Okay guys, I'm moving on to the next step. I'm going to add a cup and a half of cold water in here. Then to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of vanilla. And then I'm going to add my molasses. Three tablespoons of molasses and just going to mix that in and then we'll move on to the next step okay guys we are moving on to our next step I'm going to go ahead and open up my flour right in the middle right there and I'm going to add the liquid right into that middle there And we just want to fold that in. And this is what your flour should look like at this stage, all right? So we're just going to go ahead and move on to our next step. Okay, guys, this step, you want to make sure say, your surface is nice and clean. Make sure you add them clean from the beginning to the end, right? So you go ahead and you sprinkle your little flour on your board or on your kitchen countertop or wherever you choose. And then you go ahead and just pour that out. Go ahead and sprinkle some flour on top of that. You just start patting it in. Okay guys, you want to make sure that your dough is holding nice. If you turn it over and it's still sticking to the countertop, that means you need to put more flour on. Okay guys, so that's how you want your texture of your dough to be, just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and take that up, put it in a plate, and just get your paper towel, a wet damp paper towel, put it on there and just let it sit. I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay guys we are moving on to our next step 
Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and sprinkle your surface once again before you put your dough up on top of that. Go back in, get your dough and pour it out. Sprinkle just a little bit more of that flour. Make sure you, your rolling pin is nice and clean. And all you want to do is just roll it out. Roll out your dough nice and slow. If you need any more flour, you go ahead and you put your flour on top of that. And just roll it out nice and smooth, just like that's how you want it to be. Nice and smooth on the top. Okay guys, make sure when you use your rolling pin to smooth out the top, you don't want to flatten this dough too much. Okay guys, I'm going to be going in and I'm going to make my circles from the bowl out. And these look pretty good. So the next thing you just want to do is go ahead and lift up that. Okay guys, before you put your bowl on your baking pan, you just want to go ahead and get a melted butter or oil and just coat the parchment paper just like that because you don't want your bullet to stick like that and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm gonna put our bullet on our baking sheet. So there's our bullet right there. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and coat it with a little bit of melted butter on top. Okay, make sure that your oven is already on. Your oven should be on 350 degrees. And this is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to bake, all right? So I will see you back when I'm all done. Okay, guys, the bulla is all finished. So what I'm gonna do here is just go ahead and get a little bit more of that melted butter and put on top of my bulla. So that's it right there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this on a plate and let you guys see what it looks like on a plate. So there you have it guys, homemade bulla in my kitchen. Fast, easy, and simple. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that recipe as much as I enjoyed making it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share, share, share. Let me know where you want to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it don't simmer, a time to eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.